Leadership is the art of motivating a group of people to act towards a common goal. It involves setting a vision, inspiring others to follow, and creating an environment where everyone can contribute their best efforts. Unlike management, which focuses on planning, organizing, and controlling resources, leadership is about influencing and empowering individuals to achieve great things. At the heart of leadership, there are several key elements. These include vision, integrity, empathy, communication, and adaptability. A great leader must have a clear vision of where they want to go and be able to communicate that vision effectively to their team. They must also lead by example and demonstrate honesty, transparency, and ethical behavior. Additionally, a good leader must be able to listen and understand the needs of their team members, communicate clearly and effectively, and be willing to adapt their approach when necessary. The essence of leadership. It's like an art, man. Being a leader is an art. Yeah. Everybody wants to be that top person, but you really you really got to do the most work and you got to do the most you got to know you got to know what you're talking about. You got to be ready to lead by example, jump in the field with your team like me. I can't tell my team to do nothing that I've never did before. I mean, you could, but then your team will look at you. I have to lead by examples. I have drivers. So how do I look if I've never did any driving or delivery routes? How do I look like telling my people who are out there seven days a week, well, you should do it like this if I've never went out there and drove. They look at me like an asshole. I know some people do it, but like me, coming from football, I never respected no coach who didn't really play football. I don't respect people's opinion who never suited up and actually put blood, sweat, and tears on that field. Just like the packages. I put blood, sweat, and tears on that road, driving packages, rain, sleet, snow, and sunny. So how would I look going to my team, giving them some orders, and I've never been in a position? No. The true essence of a leader, yeah, you got to serve the people. You got to start at that bottom. I done played every position I had to. I'll still play any position now. If they call me and say, we don't got no driver, guess what? I go in and drive right hand up to the Lord. I promise. <laughs> so yeah, at the heart of the leadership, like you say, you got to have a vision. You got to know what you want. You got to be laser focused on the goal, clear. Whatever it is you want, you're going to have to do it with integrity and empathy. You got to understand you can't rule with an iron fist. People don't respect that. You can't rule with fear. Because people will just resent you and be ready to turn on you. You got to really be your genuine self. If you're a people person, you got to get in there and lead with people. Or you got to hire somebody to, to lead the style that you want to. You got to have effective communication, clear and direct. People respect clear and direct communication. Don't beat around the bush. Don't be slick. Don't, just tell them what you want and they'll respect you more. Or say, I don't know the answer. When you don't know something, don't act like you don't know. Be clear. I don't know the answer. Let me get back to you. I'll figure it out later. Don't be a know-it-all. Nobody likes a know-it-all or a person that's faking. We can tell when you're faking and when you don't really know the subject matter. So yeah, also a great leader, adaptability. You got to be adaptable. You got to be flexible. You got to be flexible. Like things don't always go, you know, as planned. It's been plenty of times I done had the plan drawn out to the T and then you get into work and it's completely different. Nobody shows up. We're late. We're late getting on the road. The, the, um, the induction's late. The warehouse is late picking the packages. So you're going to have to always adapt and gain and be able to move on the fly. Those make the great leaders. Yeah. If it was perfect every day, you wouldn't need to be a leader. It would, it would run itself. But nah, you get paid on those days that's not perfect. When you coming up with that plan on the fly, making it happen. That comes from experience. That comes from seeing the game. That comes from the visualizing. You already know. When you know it so much, it just becomes ingrained into you. It just becomes a part of you. So yeah, definitely good communication. Also, you got to listen to what your team's telling you. You got to listen. That's a big part of being successful is listening. You don't know it all. I respect my people. They're doing it every day. I don't, I don't do the trucking thing as much every day as I used to, but I respect my people. They're in there every day, seven days a week, 10 hours a day, grinding it on their road. So when I ask questions, I'm asking them, I want to hear their honest opinion because they're seeing it every day. I'm, I'm pretty far removed, but I still know what's going on. But I'm a great leader. I'm not a micromanager. I don't, I don't hire my people to tell them what I want every day. I pay them 
to make the right decision for me. That's what I'm paying them for. Um, so that's it. Yeah. You got to trust your team. You got to trust in your people. You got to listen. You got to understand their needs. You got to take care of their needs. So yeah, that's the essence of leadership.